Good morning everyone and welcome back. Today we'll be talking about bacterial transposition. The bacterial chromosome contains most of the bacterial DNA. The bacterial chromosome is highly tangled and condensed. This is great for storing large amounts of DNA in small space. This is not great however for repetitive reading as the bacteria needs to unwind and transcribe the portion of DNA each and every time it needs to use that portion of DNA. So certain functions like toxin production which requires constant DNA presence becomes obsolete. So over time the bacteria evolved to extracting small part of the bacterial DNA to become the bacterial plasmid. The plasmid is basically bacterial DNA except that it's unwind and readily accessible. It's free floating and small. So it's highly efficient for functions that require repetitive DNA use. So transposition refers to the process of extracting small parts of the bacterial DNA to become the bacterial plasmid, or reintegrating this part of bacterial plasmid back into the bacterial chromosome. The bacteria commonly shares its DNA with other bacteria of the same species, but it doesn't have to share the entire chromosome, that again would be inefficient. So, the bacteria would normally just transduct a small part of the bacterial chromosome to become plasmid, and then share this plasmid with other bacteria. The recipient bacteria can then reintegrate this plasmid into their chromosome to gain this function. Remember, transposition, plasmid. 